Hey guys, I'm going to do a shorter version of this too. Uh, so this is the Dell uh, 3080 from uh, Alienware. Uh, I'm going to repad it. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So first, unscrew all of these screws on the outside. Do it diagonally. Alright, next take the back plate off. Once the screw is down, now you have four screws here that holds the the uh, the chips to the to the back to the cooler, and then there's two on the outside. I'm gonna unloose the two on the outside first, and then these one diagonal as well. Okay, so once that's out, there were two issues with this. Okay, one is this one does not cover all of the memory chips, right? So we're gonna have to uh, cover when we re when we reapply the um, thermal pads, we have to cover all the chips. Number two is once you unscrew those six, you can lightly lift this up, like that. Lift it up this way because there are two wires that holds it together, holds the fan. Okay, next we're gonna have to clean this, so clean it with alcohol wipes, um, and then reapply paste, but clean this, and then take out these two stickers right here, because the memory chips are on the other side, take out the stickers and then apply thermal paste around here too. Okay, for this one, pea size, small pea size, and for this one, just align around this. That way, um, it'll cool it down faster. So, here we go. All right, so once that's done, pea size, uh, pea size, and then that around there, you're gonna wanna close it back up again. You can see through here where the four uh, screw holes align. Get them in like that. Once they're in, get the top one, once again, uh, diagonal. All right. Before I work on the back plate, what I'm uh, what I'd like you guys to do is back here, uh, clean the residue off, okay, uh, from the previous paste. Clean it off. Wipe it off so the new one makes flush contact. All right. So now that that's clean, I'm gonna move this away. Rip this off and clean this one off too the old one, we're gonna replace it. All right guys, so back to this, now that the back, the back plate is clean, for this one, uh, instead, of a, instead of cutting the thermal pads to fit this, what I like you guys to do is cover this, right? Um, cover where the chips are, because the way they had it on here, it looks pretty, uh, you didn't see it when you were looking through here, but it did not cover all the chips. So I want you guys to cover all the chips. Uh, the airflow, yes, it will slow down a bit if it extends over this area. But as you know, when you put it in an open rig and you got fans, 120 millimeter fans blowing through, it will be fine, right? The airflow will be fine. So I always start with these. I'm going to cut this one in half, and then I'll uh, just measure it. Alright, so now that it's now that it's all covered, um, I'm gonna close it up again. So like I said, one of the things I see people do is they'll they'll try to replicate whatever was on here originally. Don't do that. Look at this, cover where the chips actually are, right? That's what matters because when you take it off, um, it's yeah, it just sticks to here, but what you really want to do is cover the chips. Alright guys, so that's it. Um, if you want to see the before and after, uh, how hot it was before and after, uh, just watch uh, the longer version. Uh, I'll add it at the end. 
uh, but watch the longer version. I replaced three of these. These are, like I said, they're um, the uh, Alienware from Dell uh, 3080s. They overheat quite a bit, um, but this was just a short version. All right.